All right, so here are the results. Each songwriter has a unique blend of musical influences and tastes that merge together to create their own individual sound for their songs. This sound is made up of specific styles, elements, instruments, moods, and emotions. The song Blueprint from Itty Ditty. All right, that's what we'll be talking about today. So the song Blueprint is part of the Itty Ditty um, Finding a Producer to produce your songs website here. It's the first of a kind tool gives songwriters and producers a comprehensive style guide for creating their original sound. Now you can do the blueprint by itself or if you sign up to find a producer for your song, you can, this is part of that as well. So I'm gonna go over just the song blueprint in this video today. I'll go a little bit into the finding a producer stuff because it's kind of a unique system they have and I'll do a different video on just finding the producer so you can check that out as well. So what is the song blueprint basically? Basically, you put three songs in of your vibe, your style that you like, the influences or inspires you. Um, you're going to use YouTube videos for this part, for the sounds. And then they deconstruct your songs and then they give this, like, al this algorithm that they use to analyze your musical influences and reveal signature clues or significant, or significant clues about your stylistic prefer preferences. And then you get a blueprint here. Within four to five business days, you'll receive a report that pinpoints the instruments, the moods, and effects that'll make your song shine. And like I said, it's part of, you could do it without the producer part, but this also helps with the producer, and producers can use this as well. Um, so we'll just take a look at this more here. This report is not a concrete formula. Instead, it's a detailed and interactive framework for a more effective pre-production conversation. So with your producer and stuff like that get clear on what you want for your song. Because a lot of times people, you know, they have different things. They say, oh, I want this kind of sound. But, you know, this kind of sound means different things to different people. You know how it is with musicians and producers, you know. Um, they might not know the technical terms or whatever. So who is this for? Early career songwriters, established artists, and producers. So if you're an early songwriter, uh, you need help defining your style and style. You're established artists who want to define and communicate a specific sound for their tracks and then producers who want a higher and more effective level of collaboration with their artist clients. All right, so let's check it out. We'll fill out the form here and we'll go through the whole process. All right, so here we are on the form here. Now I'm gonna put my email address in, my name, and then I'll put my three songs in. Try not to choose songs that are too obscure or unknown. Indie songs are fine, but the more unknown a song is, the less information will be found for your musical ear training error not ear sorry and artist family tree results so having troubles finding uh, thinking of songs click here so here we'll just go that in case if you want to it took me a while to think of my songs but you can go through here and check out this there are no wrong answers try asking yourself how did i listen what did i listen to growing up what concert would i love to go to and so on and so forth still having trouble pick and write in songs from this list so here's some different ones adele John Mayer and all that stuff like that. So I pick songs that I like the production of personally myself because I want to try to get a sound like that. And I picked all female artists, even though um, that I might not have all female singing in the songs. But anyways, let's go in here. All right, so I inputted, here's the three songs I picked. I put All Too Well by Taylor Swift. I really like the vibe of this song and the drum sound and the production. It's kind of mellow, but still, you know, kind of old school music, but with a modern sound, if you will. And then I picked uh, Giver uh, here as well, which is a little more gritty sounding. And then I have River by Bush Bishop Briggs, which is again, more like alternative gritty sounding as well. So that's what I like um, and again, you know, if you're a producer as well and someone says, hey, you know, these are the, these are three songs that I really enjoy, what kind of want to sound like, maybe you're working with a singer or something or an artist, and you can use this for that as well. Or if you're an artist, you know, this helps the producer as well. So that, again, that's how this is going to go. Let's here submit my song, and then we're going to wait a few days or whatever, how long they take. Like magic. Okay, success. Thank you. You've answered, have been received. Now what? Okay, so a few days later here, my song Blueprint is ready. Here's a little description. By breaking down your reference songs, the song Blueprint helps you identify and communicate the instrumentation, moods, and effects that you prefer. When you improve 
and expand your production vocabulary, you are able to communicate your creative vision more effectively in the recording studio. It will be easier for you and your producer to collaborate on the sound of your song. And there's also audio files in here that we'll take a listen to the difference between different terms and stuff like that. And let's check this out. All right, so here are the results. Each songwriter has a unique blend of musical influences and tastes that merge together to create their own individual sound for their songs. This sound is made up of specific styles, elements, instruments, moods, and emotions. Your song production blueprint unveils these components, helping you understand yourself and helping producers understand what you want. It is a useful tool in working with producers and getting your songs produced in a way that accurately represents you. All right, so that's the beginning there here. And here's the three songs that I put in. And then there's an overall summary. Your reference songs reveal a preference of, for music that starts with good songwriting and uses production to or, organically expand the songs as opposed to music that relies purely on gimmicks. You like both real instruments and synths, but when synths or samples are used, they are emotional and have human quality. The music is approachable and easy to listen to while at the same time novel and unconventional and the production of the song conveys the emotional of the emotions of the lyrics authentically. All right, so, so that's my overall summary for my discussion with my production, get to understand my music better or conversation with a producer in other words. And then they have these colors here. So what are all these colors about? I have no idea, let's see. These are color, colors that represent your core emotions that match your unique taste and individual style. So we got red, energy, aggressiveness, action, anger, uh, black, nothingness, surrender, misery, fear, turquoise, refreshing, and so on and so forth. So that's pretty cool. You are also small bits of these emotions, yellow and blue. Uh, this is good for marketing too, the colors that you use in your marketing. So these songs could use, you know, my song here could use this, these different colors in the marketing. And then there's even more here about the colors and stuff like that. You can go deep dive, like further deep dive into that. Let's check that out. So here's the whole color wheel. So this is a pretty in-depth, you know, thing for your songs and stuff like that. We asked artists to choose three colors to represent their song in order to better express the producers the emotions. Okay, see, science behind the colors. And there you go, there's more stuff there if you want to take a look at that. Anyways, let's get back to the, uh, the song blueprint here. These are the moods that match your unique taste and individual style. Okay, um, blah, different percentages and stuff like that. Uh, my musical energy level is pretty high. A little more information button here. Let's see what that's all about. So what's the difference between high energy and low energy, blah, blah, blah. Higher energy songs are usually louder, faster, busier, more expressive, and more upbeat. Low energy songs are quieter, softer, blah, blah, blah. All right. So these are the blend, the, the genre blends here that match your unique taste and individual style. So we have like, I guess 22% rock, 22% electronic. Uh, a little bit of country and Americana, a little bit of pop in there. Or some more pop. I don't know why there's two different pops. Hmm, that's interesting. And then there's 11% blues as well. And then we go in here, the subgenres. Electronica, alt pop, blues, rock, country, or contemporary country, soft rock, singer, songwriter. So kind of that kind of blend here. Want to hear more differences, micro genres. There's, there's samples here you can click on as well. Let's check that out real quick. I'm not going to play these for copyright purposes, but you get like a little example of different genres here. There's so many sub genres. Sometimes that's good stuff. It can get confusing of what exactly genre and sub genres you are. All right. So back to the report, my instruments, uh, my core inst instrument for foundation, uh, somewhere between key driven and guitar driven It's pretty much dead in the center there. And just more information box, as you can see here. I mean, obviously guitar based and keyboard based for the rhythms and stuff like that. You can, you know, whatever, check that out. 
my preferred instrument types. So we have the different kind of guitars that we use here. Acoustic clean guitar, or I mean clean electric, acoustic, dirty electric. Um, and then we have different drum styles, acoustic percussion electronic. And these are based, of course, on the songs that I put in. So if you're communicating with your producer, he's going to look at this and be like, wow, okay, this is the, the blend of everything that we want to do here for your songs. And then you get the retro. This is for the guitar effects, like retro effects, vintage, dirty, electric. And there's samples on here as well. So for example, the retro effects on guitars, like more vintage sounding. Dirty electric. And then a different kind of bass sound. We're like pretty much 67% electric bass. As opposed to 33% synth. And then we have, uh, what is this, keypads. So we got synths and we got strings. And we got key rhythm, digital and acoustic. And so on and so forth. Um, is even a background vocal thing here. Uh, unison, simple harmony, layered. So that's the percentage of the songs that I put in. And then we got uh, miscellaneous instruments, horns, and orchestra. Kind of 50-50 on that. So here's uh, the music production techniques and effects. So busy as, a pro as opposed to concise, for example. A bit more busier. So my songs are kind of on the higher, on the busier spectrum of things. Wet and dry. I'm assuming this is gonna be like for effects and stuff like that. Dry would be more like this. As opposed to more reverb and stuff. And then we have clean and dirty sounds. Very clean. Dirty, obviously. And then more raw and more polished. I'm kind of dead in the center for this more electronic and real, kind of dead in the center of that as well. I don't have to play samples for everything. And then you have your artistic family tree here, artist family tree. So starting with the three artists that I picked, it goes into the secondary influences and then into even, what are these ones called here? Uh, their inf influences from influences to influences, in other words, so Taylor Swift, Goes all the way back to Debbie Harry, Chrissy Hine, uh, like 70s artists up to the 80s kind of artists. And then, you know, influence, influence. This is a pretty cool feature too. You can check it out. Uh, Bishop Briggs goes all the way back to like Led Zeppelin, Sam Cooke, and so on and so forth. Reva Franklin. Uh, my Roots and Ears. Ears. So these are the kind of contemporary pop, soul, blues, MTV, rap, hip hop, blah, blah, blah. Stuff like that. So results here for my song Blueprint, and you can share them if you want as well. So pretty cool. Um, other ears, ears of music. I keep saying ears, but they're ears. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so overall, really cool for your song Blueprint here. This is like the first step. You could do this by itself, or you can do this is the first part of when you find hire a producer on here. I did a couple other videos. So, you know, you're going to want to find a producer. Um, you're going to want to find it. This is how you find a producer. The first part and then other producers will bid, kind of bid on your song. Not bid, but they'll make a, you know, there's, I think they said six to 12 different uh, producers will start working on your song that you could get a, a basic idea of with and which whatever you like the best, then you can hire that person. So it's a pretty cool system. Uh, yeah, here we go. Vetted producers from around the globe. Every songwriter who posts their song on Eddie Diddy can expect six, 12 producers to reach out. And then you choose your favorite of those producers, the producer sketches. And then you go from there and then you hire them for, for the select your producer for the final project. So really, really cool system here. 
the song Blueprint, like I said, you could do it on your own without the hiring producer just to see, kind of catch your vibe, um, see, to learn your artistry vibe and your vision so you can communicate it better. And also to hire producers as the assistant here. I have a discount link in the video description below as well. So check that out. It's Greg K 21 and there's a link down there for this as well. So check it out. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. That is all for now and I will talk to you soon.